Hello and welcome to the Heimer showroom in Bad Waldsee. This is a Deathless A6977 motorhome. Comes at a cost of just over 73,706 centimetres long, 233 wide, 319 at its highest point. And uh, what this can be on 4,250 kilo basis, which will give well over a ton. In fact, almost 1.2 tons of payload. So you can see it's got an overcab up there. And being an overcab, it's going to have a lot of space inside. So uh, this thing here will sleep six, two there two there and two there if that's what you're looking for all right so the very back we've got this uh width wise bed with the access via a ladder so i'll put the ladder in the going up position and i shall go up it oh it moves maybe i'm doing something wrong Storage up there, storage there, hatch in the roof, windows at both sides. So, plenty of light here, only a pity you have to get up via a ladder. There's a look down the vehicle. To my left, we have the washroom. To the right, we've got a wardrobe, we've got the fridge, seating area people up front and driving position down there. Quite a lot in a vehicle, which is only 706 centimeters in length. But one thing is where there's an over cab, then uh, it takes a lot more fuel. And this thing here, for example, if you compare it to a low profile with say 30 centimeters uh, lower, uh, oh, the difference, It'll be about two liters per 100 kilometers difference. Something along those lines. Along those lines. Not, it depends on the factors as well. All right, so there's the washroom, which is quite large as well for a seven meter van. If I come in here, you can see me in the mirror. And if you want to see me in the shower, I shall move this false wall over. Goes over the toilet like that. And now I'm in the shower. Is there any space in here? I'll turn the thing around. There's me in the shower. And you see, a little bit of space. Not a huge amount. No, no, not bad at all. So I'm saying, not bad at all. Right. So, come back out. I shall move this back to its original position. And, I, and you can see this will hold in place via a thing which is up here which I shall put in place like that. That's now held in position. So down here, duck board, useful. And you've got drainage there and at the other end as well. Although I prefer to be a larger uh, domestic uh, uh, drainage hole, but at least there's two of them. And I think that is very important. Have a look at what's here. A lot of storage in there, although a ledge would be a pretty good idea. This one, or maybe just unstuck because there's ledges on all the other ones. I think it must have come off. Towels would go there, and that will keep them dry because the false wall would. would would solve that problem and look at this sensible sliding door at this side yes that's a pretty good uh, shower in here we've got this enormous wardrobe doesn't have a light but you can't have everything and there's a fuse box here as well and under that I believe in fact I'll open it from here we will find the boiler. 
also get into the boiler from down there. Boiler doesn't require much maintenance, but it does require a little bit. Did I turn this on or off? Right, they're on. Sorry, right. And uh, up here. Large tower fridge. And at the bottom, we have yet more storage, which I shall open. There we go. Now, uh, kitchen for if you're cooking for six, well, it might be a bit of a squash, but you've got to make some uh, sacrifices somewhere. And uh, so, three burners, sink, uh, and a little bit of preparation. But hey, you don't need much preparation there when you've got this big table here, assuming that whoever's sleeping in here has got up. All right, place for the food, perhaps. And more storage down there, possibly for dried goods. Here we have shore power and more shore power. And up here we have, I've noticed in some vans how close the television gets to this. So I'm being careful. Oh no, but at least oh, it was centimetres. Yeah, okay, at the end there wasn't a centimetre. But uh, that's something actually to bear in mind, not to scratch your, your screen with these things. Some are really, really very close. Anyway, so that's probably the most useful lesson from this video is, okay, in this case it, it, it wasn't touching, but that could end up saving you a lot of money if you've got a television in that position. Right, uh, okay, so two belted positions, two more belted positions, so you can carry six people in this vehicle and, uh, and there's two more sleeping places in the over cab up here got a window at that side it's got a window up there and this thing here lifts despite the fact there's a pile of stuff on it no problem at all lifting it up with one hand so it's see fiat six speed manual gearbox these chairs won't turn around because of the position of this here So, uh, apart from making the bed here, I know this is up there. Some of the uh, pieces of the jigsaw which will go to fixing a bed here. Let's have a walk outside. That's the sort of thing. You can see how much electricity and water you got in there. Here's a heating control. Controls under the boiler. Fantastic, large um, garage here. You put 150 kilos in there. Access to the garage here as well. Same size access, look how big the door is. Brilliant. That's for your toilet cassette. That's for the gas. So there you have it. Death lifts trend and a overcab vehicle. Lots of space inside it. But the downsides, as I pointed out as well, with the fuel consumption, for example. So, thanks so much for watching. I hope you found that interesting. There's plenty more on this uh, YouTube site. And uh, so, if you haven't already done so, I hope you'll subscribe. I'll just show some of my journeys around. You also might be interested in my history site, which is called History on YouTube. And that, I just learned something very curious about one of the people who founded this company and what was very close to where I'm standing right now, only 200 meters away from where I am right now, was a secret weapon developed 
towards the end of the Second World War, but you're going to have to see my history site for that one. Thanks very much for watching, and all the best from Bad Valzee.